What's up, y'all? We are enjoying a beautiful morning slash afternoon here at the campsite, uh, which is just across from Blue Something Something Campground. It's a dispersed campsite. Um, weather, like I said, is finally nice for the first time in a couple days, so we're going to attempt a river dunk or swim, potential shower, if you will, I guess. Uh, we're going to see how cold it is. You can see behind me, know if I can get a good shot of it but like directly behind me is literally a mountain full of snow so that's where the water's coming from if it's too cold we're gonna bail and just get the hell out of there but at least y'all will have something to laugh at so check it out I like successfully cleaned my <laughs> The Norseman chant. He dives in at first. <laughs> there you go, the lay down. Yep, you can take it. Okay. <laughs> that's three times. <laughs> that's enough for today, perhaps. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> <clears throat> Worth it though. <laughs> What's up y'all? We are at our new campsite, which is actually an old campsite that we've been at before. Uh, we just got back from playing soccer with some awesome people um, over at this park um, that's sort of just off the interstate. Uh, and we joined their Facebook group, they were really awesome, and we ended up winning the game too, which is even better, so that's cool. Um, right now we're just chefing up some linguine. And over here, let me turn the camera real quick. I'm just seasoning them some chicken. It's gonna be like Italian style. Obviously I'm using a rock, um, which is the outdoor way. Let's check on Rick. Cooking up some linguine here, a whole pound. That's usually good for like four meals for us. Slash one for me. Yeah. And we got this classico, traditional basil pesto. We got some farm that's gonna go on it, so. This meal is going to be fire before our last hike in this area. So, we got the sunset, we got the mountains. I'll check in with y'all when the chicken goes into the pan. Ooh, sizzling hot. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have to do two at a time. Mmm, put a little garlic in there, some parmesan on top. <laughs> yeah. 
in with the pesto. Oh, what a walk! Getting real aggressive with it. By the light of the headlamp, we can see our delicious pesto pasta parmesan dinner. Very good. I recommend it. Highly recommended from Chef Rick, so you know it's good. Enjoying these mountains. Dodging mosquitoes left and right. Anyway, take care, y'all, and see you tomorrow. Well, it's Jordan and Eric from North American Adventures. Today we are in the White River, River Forest, and we're going to do the Ptarmigan Trail, which is 4.7 miles and about uh, a thousand hundred and a hundred feet of elevation. Um, there's a big group ahead of us, so we waited a little bit, and the weather has started to turn just a little bit. Uh, so we may get some light rain here, as the forecast suggests. But otherwise, in terms of temperature, it's pretty nice out, uh, pretty moderate just uh, a little bit windy as it was this morning. So we're gonna get started. We'll catch up with y'all on the trail. Right, let's go! Okay y'all, we are on the trail, or I guess just off it rather, waiting for Eric. We just ran back to the car to grab some supplies that we forgot. Um, so if you guys can see behind me, that area right there is what we're gonna get a full view of from above, so we're headed up and around. about to clear this first I guess rise or hill where we take off into the mountains a little out of breath oh, yeah. legs tired from soccer yesterday <clears throat> but you can see silver thorn you can see the reservoir behind us and the mountains and Rick catch up with y'all soon As y'all can see, as Rick had so rightfully pointed out, this is supposed to be a sign, uh, but there's nothing on it. Luckily, the path is easy to follow, and there's good weather and no snow. <laughs> Uh, try that again. Different cut. Woo.
Okay, I'm still recording. Okay, so the mountains are behind us. We're doing a little update here. And also, above us is like, it looks like a recent burn area. It certainly smells like it, which is, uh, I guess, pretty, pretty common in this area, but pretty weird for this trail for us because we haven't seen anything like that so far. So uh, we've gone two miles. We have a half mile to go up before we turn around and come back down. Uh, this has been a pretty popular trail. We've seen a lot of hiking groups. Um, but yeah, we're just sticking to the trail, having a good time, enjoying these mountain views and the views of Silverton and the reservoir below. So let's keep going, yeah! As Eric said, the smell of charcoal here is just uh, stinging the nostrils as we walk through this burned area. Just got to the turnaround on the trail. As y'all can see behind me, it's gorgeous. You can see the reservoir, you can see the mountains. This is probably, unless you actually summit, this is probably one of the better views you'll see of Silver Point. So awesome. We're gonna do a little bit of snack here. Enjoying this beautiful view. It's getting a little bit chilly as these clouds start to roll in, but we got jackets, so we'll be good. Blame Provecho, mate. Back down, we're in that burned area that I showed y'all before. Snack was delicious. Weather's holding out just barely. It's gotten a little bit chilly, a little bit overcast. So we'll catch up with y'all at the car. Okay, we got a little snake over here. I don't know what kind of guy this is. Tell me if you know he's making no sounds or movement. We'll let him be. <laughs> okay y'all, back of the whip once again. We had an awesome time. It was really, really fun uh, to do this hike, which is pretty popular in this area to get to see Silverthorn uh, from such unobstructed views. Um, it was awesome to see a bunch of friendly hikers today just having a good time out there and enjoying the weather while it lasted. Um, we're going to head out, find a campsite, new or old, we're not sure yet. Um, we'll catch up with y'all in the next video. If you guys like the content, <laughs> make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace!